Well, good evening to you. We're tracking the chance for a few late night to early morning showers and storms, but a round of stronger thunderstorms, potential severe weather for late tomorrow into the early evening hours. That's along a strong cold front, and regardless of how many storms we see, much cooler weather as we head into Friday. The outlook area, shaded and orange here in an enhanced risk area, includes Topeka, Emporia, uh, Manhattan to about Junction City, and then up to about Marysville. And those areas, again, are going to be the region we'll really focus on for the potential for some Severe weather late in the day tomorrow. Skies are clearing back out up north in Mayetta. A little bit of cloud cover still hanging around over Manhattan as well. Otherwise, a quiet evening. Cloud cover in Topeka has been mostly cloudy for a while. 74 degrees. East winds at 7 miles per hour at 72 Manhattan in Marysville. 74 at Hiawatha, Topeka, as well as in Lawrence. The winds are generally east, not too strong, running about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But there is quite a difference across the area. Temperature doesn't show it. But the dew point does. Lower 50s, dry air up north, middle to upper 60s, muggy air across the southern half of the area right now. And that humid air will be in place. We'll look at this on future track. It'll put the winds and the wind speeds together with the moisture. Watch those southerly winds bring in moisture through the day tomorrow. A dry line type of a front pushes in that separates this humid air from the dry air back behind it and a cold front enter into the area and by evening hours, once you're behind the front and the drier air, no more storm chances, but along and ahead of it for the central and eastern counties, even through the evening, we'll have that potential for strong storms until the front finally pushes on through. So again, we have the cloud cover building in as the moisture builds in. That's why we've got this band of clouds moving from south to north as the moisture drifts northward. So the humidity will be in place. That's the fuel for the thunderstorms. Here's all the energy from it as Thursday's system starts to move move our way tomorrow. That kind of all combines together and future track shows out ahead of it. Even a few showers may pop up after dark tonight and then into the morning hours tomorrow, mainly over the southern counties, some scattered showers and thunderstorms and then it may often on rain tomorrow, but it is really the time frame of that front coming in during the evening. A few of these storms may rapidly intensify. Watch how quickly it pushes off to the east, but during that window of time as they're enhancing could see some strong to severe storms in our viewing area as well. That's why we are under that outlook for the potential for that tomorrow. Overall, the chance for storms when you look at the big picture of the day, likely at 70% chance. 82 for the high, but it is a strong cold front coming through and we cool down a lot for Friday. A high of 63, but that breeze and 46 in the morning, that's going to be a cool start to Friday and an even chillier start to Saturday, although less wind, lows in the upper 30s, upper 60s on Saturday, low 70s on Sunday, and we hold at that level, low to mid 70s, all the way through the middle portion of next week. So we get through tomorrow's storm chances. Some could be severe late in the day, and beyond that, we've got some really nice weather. Really pay attention tomorrow, and then it's some smooth sailing. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Mike.